Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video I'm going to show you how to replace the plug wires on this S10 Blazer. I'm not going to actually go through showing you how to replace each one, um, but I am going to show you uh, the, the techniques to get to them um, and also the principle behind uh, how you replace them and what order you go in. For tools you're just going to need uh, a screwdriver because you do have to take out, apart the intake assembly and you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers or if you have them uh, spark plug boot pliers. Okay so I have the vehicle jacked up and not a hundred percent necessary but it makes it easier certainly for videoing and it kind of the when you jack it up the tires go down a little bit and give you a little extra room. Now you access the plug wires right through your inner fender like this. So in here this is the passenger side you can see uh, turn the light on right in front of you is the middle plug um, and then there's one the rear plug is right behind it and then the front one is kind of right in there you can see it beyond that coil. Um, so that's how you reach the plugs. On the driver's side uh, you have a little more uh, congestion let's say. Um, the plug is in behind the steering shaft right there you can see it um, and then here's the rear one and basically what you want to do is grab on these have 90 degree boots on them most of them you grab on make sure you can twist it and then pull the boot off the twisting action um, breaks the seal of the rubber boot from the spark plug a lot of time they'll get stuck together uh, and then for some of them they have just straight on boots what you want to do is grab those with a pair of pliers um, and twist and I'll show you that okay so we're back over at the passenger side the rear passenger side has a straight in boot and you can see I'm gonna reach in there and grab it with the pliers um, and just depending on the angle just get hold of it good hold of it with a pair of um, needle nose pliers and then you again want to twist it as much as you can and pull at the same time and you can see there's the straight plug wire so that rear one on the passenger side and the front one on the driver's side are like that okay for easy access up above what we're gonna do is remove um, the intake hose and top of the air box assembly we're gonna remove one or loosen a clamp there and then remove a couple of uh, the harness leads which are just little clips that you pull back with your thumb and pull up and then remove four screws for the uh, top of the air filter assembly. Okay on these S10s um, the distributor caps are actually labeled with the cylinder numbers. I'm not sure if you can see that because um, of the HD uh, hopefully with the HD you can see it um, but there's numbers here and it's three on this one's three and then the second one is one and five and what those numbers correspond to is the cylinder number on this vehicle on the driver's side the first cylinder is number one and then it goes three and then five is the rear cylinder Okay, and then on the passenger side it's the even numbers 2, 4, and 6. Uh, so with this vehicle you can actually match up um, your distributor, you know, which one goes with which because they're labeled. Now if you didn't have a cap that had the numbers on them, just use the simple method which is do one at a time. And that's what I'll just show you. I just pull off one um, plug at a time, pull it off the distributor, um, deroute it, which deroute, I mean just take it out of its clips and everything, pull it from the plug, and then replace it. Okay, one part of removing the wires is undoing the clips. And you don't want to just rip these clips off, you want to undo them correctly. You can see I'm using a screwdriver to pry out and then pull the clip out. 
Um, when you reroute your wires, you want to reuse all these clips because it's very important they keep it from um, from the wires from contacting the engine and hot surfaces. And usually on this vehicle, I think there's four on the driver's side, um, one there, there's one below the brake booster and two others. And then on the passenger side, I believe there's three. Um, there's one holding the three wires. It's a little difficult to see. Uh, one way down there holding that one wire and then one holding the three a little bit further in front and then just one holding the two. So so you want to make sure you undo all those clips. Okay so you saw me start to remove the number five wire and now I have my wires for the uh, left side, the driver's side laid out here. So this is my front, my number one wire. It's got the straight boot on it and it's the longest one because it goes um, from the distributor and has the longest route to the front cylinder. Then my um, number three cylinder is actually it's the 90 degree boot uh, and then it's one of the shorter ones because it actually has the most direct route. It comes from the distributor, uh, goes through its clips and then straight down to the wire um, while the number five cylinder, the number five wire is going to be a little bit longer. Um, as you can see here, it's got the 90 degree boot because it actually comes out of the distributor and then through the clips and then goes back to um, the spark plug. So it's a little bit longer uh, than the number three wire. Okay, and then on the passenger side, okay, it's a little more of a direct route. So you have your number six, which is your back uh, wire, is the straight in boot and it's short. Uh, and then your two 90 degree boots, your kind of medium length one is your number four cylinder and then your number two cylinder which is the furthest away from the distributor is your longest one. Okay like I said I'm not going to show you um, taking each one off and putting it on. Um, I hope I give, gave you some good information. Make sure you use the silicone grease to make it that they don't stick um, and then reassemble your intake like I'm doing here and I hope this helps you out. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.